welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timishanku. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.3, problem number 2.41. Two rollers of weights P and Q are connected by a flexible string D and rest on two mutually perpendicular planes AB and BC as shown in the figure. That means there are two rollers D and E. These two are connected by a string DE and these two are placed on a two perpendicular planes that means AB and BC are perpendicular to each other. Find graphically the tension S in the string and the angle phi that it makes with the horizontal when the system is in equilibrium. Given that the total system is in equilibrium our interest is to find the value of S and the angle phi graphically. Some data is given. P is equal to 267 newtons, Q is equal to 445 newtons and alpha is equal to 30 degrees. Assume that the string is inextensible and passes freely through slots in the smooth inclined planes AB and BC. Here, we need to solve this problem graphically. So first I will discuss how to solve this problem graphically. Let us take the roller D. The roller D is placed on AB and this is connected to roller E through a string DE. Now, what are the various forces that are acting on DE? We know very well the first force is the self weight that is P that value is also given that is 216 Newtons. The next force is the reaction force on roller D by plane AB. We know that that reaction force is perpendicular to AB but is it towards downwards or upwards that we don't know that we cannot guess. At this point I know only that the direction is perpendicular to AB. Similarly there is another force that is the force in string D that is along D. I know that this is along D but we don't know whether it is tensile or compressed and also we don't know the magnitude. That means there are three forces that are acting on roller D. First force I know both magnitude and direction. But remaining two forces I know only the direction but magnitude is not known. And also given that the roller D is in equilibrium. That means all three forces form a triangle shape, a closed polygon. So let us draw all these three forces to scale and let us try to find the value of S and the phi. So this angle is given as 30 degrees and this angle phi I would like to find that value phi. So first I have drawn a line parallel to this. So this represents the force P in vertical direction and the magnitude is also known 267 Newton. So this line length I have drawn as 2.67 centimeters by taking 100 newtons is equal to 1 centimeters as the scale. So 267 newtons so I have drawn 2.67 centimeters line vertically downwards. But coming to this force and this force, these two forces I know only the direction but magnitude is not known. So for that what I will do is I will draw this line, this line from this point like this. So this indicates the direction of the reaction force. Direction of reaction force. And I will draw in another line parallel to this from this point. So this line I will draw from this point. I know only, I don't know the length. That's why I am drawing a very big line but maintaining the same direction. So this indicates 
the direction of S. Clearly, we can see these three forms a polygon. That is a closed polygon. That means a triangle. That means from this point to this point, we have reaction force. And from this point to this point, we have the string force. Yes. So, this is reaction at D. And this is the yes. Now, I can measure this length into 100, which gives the value of Rd. And I can measure this length into 100, which gives the value of S. And I can also measure the angle. Our interest is to find the angle alpha. So, what I will do is, I will measure this angle S made with the horizontal line. So, this point to this point represent both magnitude and direction of the string force S. Yes. So, by putting a small protractor here, so I can measure that this angle, you can say it is 16 degrees. And by measuring this length, I will get 3.24 centimeters by multiplying into 100, 324.5 newtons. In fact, if you measure with an ordinary scale, I can measure up to 3.2 centimeters. Means we can say it is 320 newtons. 3.2 multiplied with 100, which gives 320 newtons. Hence, the answers are S is equal to 320 newtons and phi is equal to 16 degrees. You can also measure this length and multiply with 100, which gives the value of Rd. Now, you can extend the same concept for roller E, so that you can find the value of Re. You can also solve the same problem by using analytical method, need not be graphically. So, first I will consider the free body diagram of roller D. There are three forces, self-weight, reaction and the spring force S. Yes. So, I am transferring all these three forces onto an XY plane. So, this is RD and this is string force S. Yes. All these two directions are initial assumed directions. And S yes makes an angle 5 and this makes an angle 30. So, RD makes an angle 30 degrees and S yes makes an angle 5. There are three forces and I can apply the sign rule comfortably. So, according to the sign rule, so 267 divided by sine of angle between these two forces, which is 150 minus alpha. So, 267 divided by sine 150 minus alpha is equal to Rd divided by angle between these two, it is 90 plus alpha. Hence, it is Rd divided by sine 90 plus alpha and S yes divided by angle between these two forces is 90 plus 30, that is 120. So, I can write this is S yes divided by sine 120. Now, I can take these two expressions and I can write S yes is equal to 267 by sin 150 minus 5 into sin 120. I will get S yes is equal to 231.23 divided by sin 150 minus 5. Similarly, I can uh, write these two expressions and I can write Rd is equal to 267 by sin 150 minus 5 into sin 90 plus 5. Similarly, I can take the free body diagram of roller E. There are three forces once again. Of course, the self-weight Q, string force S yes, and the reaction force RE. All these three forces I am transferring onto a separate XY plane. And this, this is 445 Q value that is given. This is string force S yes, and this is the reaction RE. What about the angles? And this angle, yes, you know very well, makes an angle phi with the horizontal and Re makes an angle 30 with the vertical because this angle is given as 30 and this line is perpendicular to this. Hence, this line makes an angle 30 degrees with the vertical. I can apply the sine rule now according to the sine rule 445 divided by sine of angle between these two that is 90 plus 30 plus 5 that is 120 plus 5 is equal to Re divided by sine of angle between these two that is 90 minus 5 and S yes divided by angle between these two that is 180 minus 30 that is 150. 
I can take these two expressions and I can write S is equal to 440 pi by sin 120 plus pi into sin 150 which gives the value of 222.5 by sin 120 plus 5 and by taking these two expressions I can write Re is equal to 445 by sin 120 plus 5 into sin 90 minus 5. From the free body diagram of roller D I got one S value and from, roller from the roller diagram E I got this value of S. So I can equate these two. 231.23 by sin 150 minus 5 is equal to 222.5 by sin 120 plus 5. I can simplify this. I can first I can take cross multiplication. So which gives the value of this sin 120 plus 5. I can write sin 120 cos 5 plus cos 120 sin 5 into 222.5 into sin 150 minus 5. I can written as sin 150 cos 5 minus cos 150 sin 5. I can further simplify this because I know the value of sin 120 cos 120, sin 150 cos 150 values are known so I can further simplify and I can rearrange this equation so that all cos phi's are one side and sin phi's are one side. I will get an expression like this. After simplification I will get tan phi is equal to 0.288 from that I can find phi is equal to 16.07 degrees. And by substituting this S value into this expression or maybe this expression, I will get the value of S. So it is 222.5 divided by sin 120 plus 5 and I will get it is 320.7 degrees. Though it is not asked, we can calculate the remaining values Rd by just substituting of phi is equal to 16.07 and I got Rd is equal to 356.25 Newton. Similarly, I can calculate Re also.